Hey, what's up? I'm Al Cox. I play games, make games, and everything in between. And today, I'm going to show you how to make a baseball-like mechanic. Why not create a swinging effect? Spawn a ball, and then you just hit the ball out into the world. Yeah, a lot of cool things just playing with BuildBox, so let's jump into it. Before I begin, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that little bell as I go along the game dev process, making games, assets, components, just all cool things. Here we can see this world I created and let us let me show you what's happening here. Basically a ball gets created, moved over here and tapping it causes this cylinder to rotate and you get an effect like this. Put the balls out into the world. just by doing a single tap. There is a sweet spot. This was just a lot of fun to create and I'm not gonna lie, this is actually still fun to play. And we're gonna be recreating this today. Before we recreate it from scratch, let me show you what's going on here. The biggest thing is this cylinder. The cylinder has a touch and you press it and then it rotates at 550 wide. This took a while to figure out for me personally because I started at 5, 15, 20, but if you want the spinningness like this, then you're gonna want it at 550. Oh, look at that, just hitting it off. Right up. Just very cool. Try to hit it in the middle. And so satisfying. Here we have another cube. This cube has a kinematic physics set to it. We have the original sphere and then the ball, which is spawn. So here we have the spawn and the spawn goes to the ball and is released every one second. And if I were to make it 0.5 seconds, it'd be something like this. Okay, now I'm just playing with the balls too much. And then I added these half rings because I realized that when without it, <laughs> you don't even know how far the ball flies. Watch, look. Like, is that a lot of distance or not a lot of distance? Oh, it's kind of cool how it disappears into the fog for sure. And then the ground. So let's go ahead and recreate this from scratch. Let's go ahead and make the sky blue. Go ahead and make the ground green. Yeah, I like that green. Okay, what do we need? We need a cylinder for sure. We need a ball, but you know what? I'm gonna add my own ball. Let's go to game dev. And I have a poly ball right here. This is poly ball, copy that, and we can call hit ball. Now let's move the cylinder into the game, add it as a character. First thing we're going to do is add the control of touch. Move it to enabled, and then if it is pressed, character moves 550 in the oop, 550 wide not 5550 wide that's too much take this cube and we can kind of get a lot of objects here so let's just move things around first thing i want to do is put the start at zero and then put the end at negative 10 check out the camera view we're going to want the camera this is a decent camera view maybe move out a little bit cool take this and just scale it down to at the size, see how it looks in the camera view. It looks good. 5.5, 1.5, that looks a lot better. That y is zero, y.5. Move it all the way over here. Move it to two. Here we can see that these two are super close to each other. Let me go ahead and add cube, and we're just gonna call this fat. Let me move cube to cylinder. Cylinder here, we have the character, fat cylinder and now we have this looking good kind of feel like it's still too big I want to make it a little bit skinnier yeah, that looks good and then camera angle I did not like so let's go ahead and move this and this a little bit over here 
We're gonna spawn this ball. This ball is too big. Take it over here. Make sure it is a dynamic ball. Wait, this is the spawning ball. So this ball can just be static. And then this hit ball, which is what will be spawned, it needs to be dynamic. Collision shape sphere. Collision shape sphere. And another thing I wanna do is also just to rotate this at an angle. By rotating this at an angle, the balls will come down. And that's kind of what we want. Let's go ahead and move this down a little bit. I should note that the character is not at an angle, but I think that'll be okay because it still looks good. Here you can see some of it is going into the object, but that's okay. Now let's go to the polyball sphere. Let's make it spawn. Whenever you spawn anything, you always want a delay as well. So let's spawn this, 0.5 seconds, in, out. Let's go ahead and select hit ball. Scale should be good, all these things are good. And save, done, and reload it. Okay, cool, it looks good. What are we missing? The ground does not have physics. Ground, uh, static. Now let's see what happens. So it's moving and no, no collision. What's up? Maybe this needs to be dynamic. I think if it's dynamic, then it falls down. Let's go this, set this to static. You know what's good to check? The debug. Okay, bat is not set to physics. That's what it was. Set this to kinematic and we are good to go. Jeez. Yeah. Here we can see that the ball is actually spitting it out below volleyball spawn and we're gonna move it down negative one on the y axis while also increasing and lifting it up further. See that happening? Okay, cool. I'm gonna add another ground because I feel like this will totally be helpful. Rotate it accordingly like this and presto. Move it up a little bit this way. Then a little bit more that way and go. Now I'm not sure why it's exactly stacking on top of each other, so let's just go here and get rid of that. Oh, because it's give a minus, plus or minus, where then this is just straight below. Duh. A little bit that way. Let's do 0.75. Kinds of balls going up. And for the last thing was the half ring. Again, we have no idea where everything is going. And for this, it's super simple. I'm gonna do set random color. And then I put these into the world like 90 degrees, 45, 90, negative 90. Here I'm just playing with the angles. Interesting, so it's 55. Okay, cool. So here we can see this, and then I just take this ring, copy, paste, and then literally just change these numbers like that to 15, copy, paste, and 20. Now we can see that there's different lengths and distances. Bring it out into the game. Oh, everything is moving around, and that's because these apparently have physics, and we don't want any of that. Let's change it to one second delay. Boom. Oh, and we can actually give them kinematic physics technically. Do that. Physics, kinematic, they have physics or even static would also work. Oh, but we need to set the half ring to here. Model, mesh, cube collision shape should be set to mesh. Select it, select half ring, save, and should be good. So here's the mesh and do here. Boom. And that's how you make like a hit ball 3D game using game mechanics. Simple tap and rotate. Pretty easy enough. Let me know if you were able to follow along if you have any questions. What are some cool mechanics that you've been making in BuildBox? And or what would you like to see? Be sure to like and subscribe, hit that little bell, and I will see you next time. Peace.